Today at Willwood Disc Brakes, we're going to show you how easy it can be to upgrade your Jeep Wrangler to our Big Brake Kit. Before we begin, it's very important to read through our data sheet instructions designed for your application to verify brake lines, wheel clearance, and look for any variations that may have taken place before or after the vehicle left the factory. With the vehicle properly secured and the front wheels removed, we suggest taking some photos of the current setup for reference if needed. Here's the 2016 Jeep Wrangler we're going to install the kit on. Disassemble the original equipment front brakes. For this application, cut the clips that hold the ABS line to the lower spring perch, unplug the ABS line near the chassis, Reroute the ABS line to the other side of the shock and plug it back in near the chassis. Clean and degrease the spindle. The dust shield may need to be slightly bent inward for the new hat rotor assembly to fit properly. Test fit hat rotor and bend the dust shield as necessary to allow a minimum of 0.12 inch clearance. If needed, cut away any portion of the dust shield that interferes with the new rotor, caliper, or bracket. The caliper mount bracket should initially be installed with clean, dry threads on the mounting bolts. Orient the bracket as shown and install using mounting bolts and washers. Initially place two shims on each bolt between the bracket and upright. Temporarily tighten the mounting bolts. Note: The bracket must fit squarely against the mount bosses on the upright. Inspect for interference from casting irregularities, machining ridges, burrs, etc. Later, after the caliper alignment has been checked, the mount bolts will be secured using red Loctite 271. Orient the rotor and the hat as shown. Attach rotor to hat using bolts and washers. Using an alternating sequence, apply red Loctite 271 to the threads and torque to instruction specifications. For an added measure of security, the bolts may be safety wired using standard 0.032 inch diameter stainless steel safety wire. Please refer to our datasheet DS386 for complete safety wire installation instructions. Note: There are two 5 lug patterns in the new hat. Both are 5 by 5 inches. For the JK model, use the pattern with the small diameter holes, measuring 0.516 inches. Slide the rotor registration adapter onto the axle register on the axle hub with the smaller OD facing outward. Slide the hat rotor assembly onto the axle hub. Note: The hat must fit flush against the axle hub flange or excessive rotor runout may result. Install three lug nuts finger tight to keep the hat rotor assembly in place while continuing with the installation. Lubricate the caliper mounting studs with lightweight oil. Initially place two shims on each stud as shown. Note: This kit contains distinct right and left hand calipers that must be mounted in a specific direction. Ensure that the caliper is mounted so the largest pistons are at the rotor exit end of the caliper in relation to the direction of the rotor rotation. Mount the caliper onto the bracket using lock nuts and washers. Temporarily tighten the lock nuts and view the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered in the caliper. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the upright. Always use the same amount of shims on each of the two mounting bolts. Once the caliper alignment is correct, remove the bracket and mounting bolts one at a time. Apply red Loctite 271 to the threads and torque to the instruction specifications. Remove the caliper center bridge pad retaining bolt, nut, and tube from the caliper. Insert the brake pads into the caliper with the friction material facing the rotor.
check that the top of the brake pad is flushed with the outside diameter of the rotor. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the caliper and the bracket. After the caliper pad height is set, torque the caliper lock nuts to instruction specifications. Secure the brake pads in place with the center bridge pad retaining tube, bolt, and lock nut. The lock nut should be snug without play in the bolt or tube. Be cautious not to over tighten. Next, using PTFE tape, install the 90 degree fitting into the caliper. Connect the flex line to the caliper. Use the provided brake line bracket to attach the chassis fitting to the hard line. Insert the fitting into the bracket. Screw the hard line into the fitting. Attach the flex line to the chassis fitting. Be sure to clean any surface that may have come in contact with brake fluid. Attach the bracket to the chassis with the factory bolt. Install the provided retaining clip. Zip tie the ABS line to the flex line. Be sure to double check all of your work for safety reasons, and when ready, perform a full system fill and bleed with new Willwood brake fluid best suited for your application. Be sure to check again for sufficient wheel clearance and follow the direction for proper bedding of pads and pedal feel. If you have any questions, difficulties, or doubts, please contact a professional.